Hi, my name is Paul Hawkshurst. I'm with Canon USA, and uh, welcome to the Canon booth at NAB 2018. Uh, today I'm going to show you the new C700 FF, or full frame. So this year at NAB, we're introducing the C700 FF, the full frame. So basically, it's the same body as the original C700, but we've put in a 38.1mm uh, by 20mm uh, sensor. So this is uh, quite a bit larger than the normal Super 35mm sensor that was in the original C700. So with the, the new larger sensor size, um, you know, it's really dependent upon the image circle of the lens. Uh, so far in all of our testing, all of the Canon EF lenses and all of the Canon cinema lenses that were made for full frame, they all seem to cover just fine. When we're getting to other companies' lenses, um, it's really going to be dependent. So everybody's going to have to test and see, see what works and what doesn't work. But so far, we've tested several other companies' lenses and everything seems to be covering just great. So with the new uh, full frame sensor, at the full image area, we have a 5.9K uh, image area. Um, however, we can shoot many different resolutions of the camera. We can shoot 4K and we can shoot 2K. We can shoot uh, UHD and 1920 by 1080. Now, when shooting internally to the CFast cards, I can shoot all those resolutions as a down sample from the full image sensor. So that way, we're still getting the, the full use, the full focal length area of the sensor, but we can change the resolution however we need, and you know, either to save space or just to you know, not use as much storage space or to you know, get a sharper 4K if we want to, or a sharper 2K. So absolutely, in the camera, there are actually multiple crop modes. So, you know, on top of being able to downsample from the, the full frame, we can actually do a super 35 millimeter crop and a super 16 millimeter crop. And the super 35 millimeter crop gives you uh, basically a 4K image area. Super 16 millimeter crop basically gives you a 2K image area. So, you know, you can make, a, you have a lot of different lens options open to you because of those crop modes. Given that there's so many shooting options in the new camera, uh, there's a lot of different frame rate options. Uh, so I'm going to try to run down them as you know, efficiently as I can here. Um, basically, when I'm shooting full frame, the maximum uh, frame rate that I can shoot is 60 frames a second. If I move to the super 35 millimeter crop mode, the maximum frame rate that I can shoot is 72 frames a second. If I go to the super 16 millimeter crop mode, the maximum that I can shoot is 168 frames per second. So, you know, the form factor of the camera uh, does come up often in questions. And one thing, that is, like I said, is that when you're shooting in the cinema world, in the television world, there's a lot of accessories that you need to put on the camera. Um, and they're just become very, very difficult when you have a small body and you have to use a lot of extra accessories or third party accessories to build up around that small camera body in order just to make all of your things fit. So it's just nice having one solid piece that you can make everything go on. That's one you know, factor. The next one also is that there's still a predominant method of shooting where people are shoulder slung with their camera. And being able to have the camera pre-balanced for you right out of the box is huge when it comes to um, you know, just shooting on sets. You know, time is money when it comes in the film industry especially. So having to mess around with a bunch of different rigs and handles and everything like that, just to, and you know, counterbalances just to make a camera work is, is always time consuming. But you know, one of the advantages of having a larger body is that you can have it set up very, very quickly because it's already balanced for you. And you know, the size of the camera itself is that it looks large, but actually it's pretty light for a camera in this, uh, this area. So the, the camera itself weighs 7.9 pounds, which is you know, really, really on the low end of uh, cameras in this size range. The main you know, heart of the camera, the main control center of this camera is obviously is this panel here on the side. And I think people in the industry will be very familiar with the way that this panel looks. Um, you know, and, and the reason it looks like this is because um, in the cinema industry, this is ubiquitous. This idea of uh, you know six buttons on top or six buttons total, three buttons on top, three buttons on the bottom, and the screen. Um, 
you know, obviously that was established with, uh, with Ari, and it, it really caught on in that world. Um, right away, you look at it, it's intuitive. An AC who hasn't used this camera before can step to it. Right, absolutely. No, we have not forgotten about the AC who works from the other side of the camera. So in addition, we have a, a unit, I don't know if you can see it here, but on the side is the flip-up panel called the, uh, the OU, and it basically replicates all the functions of this side of the camera onto the AC side of the camera. So no matter what side you're on, if you're a one-man band and you want to operate from here, that's great. But if you have an AC and they're pulling focus from the other side of the camera, they have full control on that side too. We have um, a couple different uh, different codecs that we can shoot with the camera. The first major one is the RAW format. So it's the Canon Cinema RAW, and it goes directly to a codex unit. This is a, a unit made specifically by the, the codex company. It's a strap on to the back of the camera. And um, basically, it uses the same drives that the Alexa SXT and the Panasonic Barracam use. So that's great for rental houses if they've already spent a lot of money on, on these uh, codex drives. They don't have to buy different media type. They can just all use that. Um, and so that's how you unlock the RAW for the camera. Um, on top of that, internally, we can shoot to CFast cards. And with that, we have a couple different options. We can shoot our Canon exclusive XF AVC. It's a Canon proprietary AVC format that we use in our C300 Mark II um, and other cameras. On top of that, we also have ProRes. And so there's uh, many different flavors of ProRes that we can shoot. Uh, internally to the CFast card, you have the ProRes HQ422. Uh, when it comes to, uh, to your bit depth, again, we have a bunch of different options there. Now, when you're shooting to the codex, when you're shooting raw, uh, you're going to have a 12-bit depth there. Uh, so that's really like a nice, meaty bit depth, uh, bit depth for you guys. When I'm shooting internally to the CFAS cards, I have a couple different options, and it all depends on my resolution. If I'm shooting 4K, I'm going to top out at 10-bit there. If I go down to 2K, though, I have my option of both 10-bit and 12-bit in 2K. The Canon C700 full frame is, we're looking at a, a summer release date, and we're looking at about 33,000 US dollars. 